Hey everybody, my name is Dana Moore and today we're going to talk about building your pipeline. And for me, this is one of my absolute favorite presentations or things to discuss with people because in the doTERRA world, this is very much the icing on the cake when it comes to what doTERRA has to offer for you and your family. So when we're talking about doTERRA and we're talking about people in doTERRA, we have found that typically there are three types of people. There are people who just want the product so that they can live the wellness lifestyle. And there are people who decide though, like I need to tell everyone about this. I can't help but share the product because I want my mom to have these or I want my best friend to have these too. And those people share the products enough to get their oils paid for. And then there are people who wanna build the business in doTERRA, people who think um, I love this product so much, I share it naturally. And I think I could do this with intention and put in some serious time and energy because I want to build an income, income with doTERRA. I want to either supplement or replace my income. And I would just ask you, what type of person are you? Where do you identify yourself? And it's okay if you, maybe you, start, you started doTERRA just because you wanted to live the wellness lifestyle. That's why I started. And then I kind of started to share, so I, I changed. I became a sharer in doTERRA, and I just wanted to tell my friends and family about the oils. And then when that started to work out really well for me, I started to build the business because I could see that this was an amazing opportunity. And now the business is what I love to share about. So we're gonna dive into that just a little bit so that you can get a taste for what residual income means and what it looks like to build a business with doTERRA. And when I was kind of making that transition between being a sharer in doTERRA to being a builder in doTERRA, I heard this presentation about hauling buckets versus building a pipeline. And it's a presentation about different ways to earn money. And it basically hit me in just the right place that made me like fall off my chair hypothetically and just realize I was sitting on the best opportunity possible. So I'm gonna share it with you because I want it to change your life and make you think a little bit differently about earning income. So the story goes that there was a man in a village and it was his job to haul buckets of water every day from the local water source to the village. But this was a really hard job. He had to walk several miles in the heat and carry big buckets of water, fill them up, carry them back, distribute them through the village, sell them to people who couldn't haul their own water. And he would do that hour after hour, day after day. But as you go on, you realize this job is getting harder. It's not getting easier. Uh, I'm getting older and I don't have any time freedom. I can't take off work to go see the sites. I can't help my wife if she's sick or one of our children are sick or if I'm sick, we don't earn money at all. I can't even go to work. Um, this, these are the things that kind of went through the man's mind. And usually when you have a problem like that, you start to think outside the box and you start to think for maybe a different type of an opportunity. And so that got his wheels spinning and he decided at night he would start to dig a pipeline. He would dig a pipeline and work night after night, just a little bit and dig and dig and dig until he had made a way over several years to lay pipe from the village to the local water source. And then he was able to have water coming into the village any time of day. It was coming in in the morning, in the evening, throughout the middle of the night. Whenever anybody needed water, they could come and turn on his spigot and have his water. And then he could earn money, whether he was sleeping or taking time off, and he didn't have to haul those buckets anymore. And this parable of hauling buckets versus building a pipeline is the difference between trading your, your time for money in like a traditional job or earning true residual income. And in a traditional job, you're always trading hours for dollars. Even if, if you're on a salary, you have a set amount of hours that you work on a monthly basis or weekly basis, um, or you clock in and you clock out, you work your shift. And that is one way to earn an income. And having a job in general is a blessing. It's a great thing. It's just not the, the best thing necessarily or the ticket to financial freedom for most of us. Um, with a traditional job, there's a limit on advancements and earnings. So that means like you can't just earn exponentially. You can't just climb the ladder incessantly and just, you know, keep earning. There's, there's usually a cap or a ceiling on that. There's limited time freedom. You don't decide when you go on vacation or how long you stay. 
you're, it's dictated by like the parameters the job sets up for you. So maybe you get a week or two weeks a year. Um, but if you wanted to like stay longer, that wouldn't be possible. That it dictates who you visit, when you visit, where you go. Um, and then you're building someone else's dreams because it's their company, right? It's they're the owners or the managers or, or whatever. And it's, it's overall, it's their dream for their life. And you are just part of that dream and you're making their dreams come true, but at the sacrifice of potentially your own dreams. Now with authentic direct sales and with the doTERRA opportunity, you're earning true res residual income. That's income that pays you when you're sleeping and income pays you, that pays you when you take time off or you take care of a sick relative. And there are no limits on advancement and advancements in earnings, meaning you can go and climb the doTERRA ladder as high as you want. And you can actually do that as over and over again and earn as much as you want to in doTERRA. And if someone above you has stopped building, you can supersede them. Um, you don't have to be limited by what other people around you do. That's amazing because the, the um, income earning potential is unlimited. You also have the freedom to choose your own schedule. If you wanna work when your children are sleeping so that you're not missing time with them, you can. If you need to, you know, take a day off because the sun is shining and work tomorrow because it's raining, you can, you have that freedom and you're building your own dreams. This is building a business that you own. That's a building a business that you have control over that can feed into other things that you want to do with your life and other things that you're passionate about or that are priorities for you. Okay, so why doTERRA? Why partner with doTERRA? There's lots of opportunities out there, but why is doTERRA the best? doTERRA is the most tested and most trusted essential oil plant, um, company on the planet. We have over 8.5 million customers, and we are used by doctors and hospitals worldwide. In fact, we're the largest essential oil company in the world as well. And doTERRA had a growth rate similar to Apple. And if you know, obviously, the popular um, computer software company, Apple, they reached a billion dollars in about seven years. And doTERRA, Essential Oils, actually did the same in the same amount of time. We have a record-breaking retention rate of 65%. And this means that people in doTERRA love their product and they reorder it over and over again. And this is unprecedented because in the industry, in the direct sales industry, if companies are doing pretty good, their customers will reorder. Um, only about 13% of their customers will reorder even on a yearly basis, meaning, yeah, they, need, they might need their product. They might want to come back and get a little bit more. But with doTERRA, people can't stop ordering because the products are in many ways replacing their, their other healthcare options and they're working for them to help improve their daily life. Um, doTERRA also creates partnerships with growers around the world, and this just shows the heart of the company and the integrity the company has with sustaining the practice of harvesting essential oils. We're a privately owned company, and we are a debt-free company with no outside funding. I think all those are just important for you to know as you're thinking about this opportunity. So how do you make money with doTERRA? That's a question you probably have, and it's something that we can expand upon even more. But for right now, I want you to know that the process that someone goes through in order to make money with doTERRA is very simple and very tried and true. You sample people, essential oils. You sample them tiny little vials of essential oil, um, maybe just one sample at a time to teach them and to show them how oils can work for very basic ailments like allergies or head tension or an achy knee or low energy or lack of sleep. Once they have a great experience with their essential oil, once they feel like I need to learn more, you teach them. You invite them to an essential oils made easy class and you teach them three cool things about essential oils and three ways to use oils. And then you help them to get enrolled with doTERRA. You help them pick a kit just like you did when you got started because we need to help people get oils in their homes. And the last thing that we do is just support them with education and resources so that they know what to do with what they have. They know how to order more and get the most out of their membership. And they're able to take their wellness journey to a whole new level. So in doTERRA, there are many different income earning opportunities and what opportunity you want and where you wanna go and how high you wanna climb 
endoterra is really up to you. Some people like to start at the very bottom. I mean, we all start at the very bottom, but some people like to aim for the very bottom. They're not looking for another business or a full-time job. They're looking for an opportunity to get their essential oils paid for every month. They're looking to have free natural health care, and thousands and thousands of people around the world get that through this doTERRA opportunity. Um, but some people want more than that. They have their eye on the rank of silver and gold and maybe platinum because they're looking to supplement their income or even maybe begin to replace their income, save for the future and things like that. Um, and then there's people who want to replace their income and even have more than enough so that they can make an impact on the world or maybe do something bigger, travel, give to a good cause, all of the above. And they usually have their eye on diamond and above for Indoterra. So my question to you would just be to think about where do you want to land in this business? And you don't have to stop by any means, but it's good to know your initial goal of like, oh, I would love to earn $500 with doTERRA a month, or I would love to earn $5,000 a month with doTERRA. That's important for you to kind of identify for yourself. Okay, I'm going to give a little bit of a, a piece of my story to you right now, just of how residual income has changed my life. But what I'd ask for you to do is when you're done listening to me, just pause it and maybe somebody else who's with you right now would like to share their story too. And it's important that you hear that doTERRA has worked for many of us and it has changed our lives in many different ways. But when I started doTERRA, it was seven years ago and my husband and I were just coming out of bankruptcy. We had been through a horrible season when the economy crashed in 2008, we lost our business and he was a financial advisor at the time. And it's not like the business was thriving. The problem was our business was barely off the ground. And then we took an economic hit like we, we all did. Um, but we also lived in a part of the country and still live there that had one of the highest unemployment rates around. So even with college education, uh, jobs weren't easy to find and we really were naive and thought that they would be. And so we had some little kids. I, I had a baby coming on the way and we spent several years unemployed. And because I've told this story so many times, I can just tell it because um, it doesn't hurt as bad, but please don't take that as the, as that it was easy. It was actually horrific. In fact, at one point my husband joined the army and went away to basic training and we didn't have enough money to pay our monthly rent for our apartment. So I moved in with another family and just rented a room with a baby in my tummy and a baby on my hip and we just made it work. And so it was a, a season of depression. It was a season of stress. It was a season of constantly focusing on money or the lack thereof. It was really, really really hard. It was the hardest thing that we've gone through in our married life. And then, um, you know, times pass, the economy changes, jobs come, things open up. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We did have to go, go through the whole process of bankruptcy. Um, but even then we were pretty desolate and we didn't know if our life would change at all. We didn't know if we would ever live beyond paycheck to paycheck. But then when I started to learn about the doTERRA opportunity and I learned about the buckets versus pipelines, um, it brought a whole new sense of hope. And I didn't have big dreams. All I wanted to do was make enough money that we could afford a housekeeper because I was so tired of picking up my children's toys and wiping sticky fingerprints off of everything. And that was about as big as I could dream because I just hadn't, I like all the dreams that were in my heart were kind of lost. Um, and so when we started doTERRA, that's kind of what I was looking for. But then once I realized like, oh, not only could I make enough money to meet our needs, um, even, you know, little things like that, but I could maybe, we could maybe make enough money to help meet other people's needs. And one of the biggest things that has recently happened um, for our family, which makes me pretty emotional, is we were able to partner with a ton of people and build a home that is a special needs home. It's an ADA um, compliant home, but some of our best friends have two children in wheelchairs and a third child with other um, physical special needs. And it's just a family that is so close to us and somebody that we have so deeply wanted to change their life. And we were able to build the most beautiful home 
that their children are able to roll up to their sinks and brush their own teeth for the first time in their life and wash their own hands and gain a level of independence that they've never known before. Um, and it has been one of the most fulfilling things I have ever done. And so for me, residual income and have, getting paid more than what we need has been probably the biggest blessing that has happened in my life. I mean, or one of the biggest things that has ever happened. So what I want you to do right now is just pause so that you don't have to listen to me move on. And if there's anyone else with you right now that would love to share, like what has doTERRA meant to them? Give them a second, let them share for a minute or two, and then you can unpause and you can join me for the rest of this. Okay, I hope that you guys were inspired. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about how much time is involved with doTERRA. So if you're thinking, could this work for me? You know, how much time do I have to do um, doTERRA to get some money out of this? It just depends on what you want. If you want to pay for your product, if you want free natural health care, you're going to have to put in like three to five hours a week. You're going to have to sample people and help them get started with their oils and help to do some good follow-up and make sure they know how to use their oils. If you want to go beyond that and you want to supplement your income, you're going to need to put in about 10 to 15 hours per week. And then if you want to go even beyond that and replace your income, you're going to have to put in 15 to 30 hours a week. And I've never really seen anybody build significant income and replace their income on less than 15 hours a week. But honestly, that breaks down to three extra hours a day. And if you think back about the man who was digging his pipeline at night, he probably, I mean, it's a, it's a story, right? It's a parable. But if you can equate it to your own life, it might be just giving up your Netflix every night and instead building a business that could change your life forever. So could this work for you? Possibly. If you love your essential oils, that's a, that's a good start. You have to love this product. You have to believe in it. You have to feel like you want to talk about it all the time. You know, it's a good product. Um, do you care about people? You have to be willing to help people on their wellness journey. That's what this job is all about. So if you can say yes to both of those, you're on the right track. And then can you follow a system and get things done? We have a very, very tried and true system that will help you to be successful for very minimum cost and that has been proven and works all over the world. So if you feel like, just tell me what to do and I can do it, then this could definitely work for you. All right, what are your next steps? First, you need to identify what type of person you are. Like, are you someone who just wants to live the wellness lifestyle? Maybe that's still where you're at and you wanna stay there, that's okay. But if you're someone who wants to share or build with doTERRA, you need to let us know. You need to let the person know who teaches your oil classes, who has shared with you, let them know what, who you identify with and what you want out of that, okay? Attend the Business Made Easy presentation. We have a video that you can watch called the, the Business Made Easy. Uh, you can watch it, you can gather together with friends or your doTERRA mentor and watch that. That's a deeper dive into this, this thing called residual income and the compensation plan. And it's important that you kind of have a, um, the big picture of doTERRA. The next thing you need to do is get connected. You wanna sign up for daily mentor calls at dailymentorcalls.com and start learning how to effectively share doTERRA. The last thing I want to leave you with is this quote, and suddenly you just know it's time to start something new and trust the magic of beginnings. This is kind of what happened to me when I heard the pipeline versus hauling buckets parable, the analogy, and it changed my life. And I hope that something has just changed your life tonight in hearing this, that something in your heart says, I need to learn more. And I would encourage you to follow that prompting. Good luck, you guys. I'm cheering you on.